The pancreas is an organ of the digestive system and endocrine system of vertebrates. In humans, it is located in the abdomen behind the stomach and functions as a gland. The pancreas is a heterocrine gland, having both an endocrine and a digestive exocrine function. As an endocrine gland, it functions mostly to regulate blood sugar levels, secreting the hormones insulin, glucagon, somatostatin, and pancreatic polypeptide. As a part of the digestive system, it functions as an exocrine gland secreting pancreatic juice into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct. This juice contains bicarbonate, which neutralizes acid entering the duodenum from the stomach, and digestive enzymes, which break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in food entering the duodenum from the stomach. This video contains information on pancreatic cancer including its risk factors, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. What is pancreatic cancer? Pancreatic cancer arises when cells in the pancreas, begin to multiply out of control and form a mass. These cancerous cells have the ability to invade other parts of the body. There are a number of types of pancreatic cancer. The most common, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, accounts for about 85% of cases. Risk factors of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer rarely occurs before the age of 40, and more than half of cases of pancreatic adenocarcinoma occur in those over 70. Risk factors for pancreatic cancer include tobacco smoking, obesity, diabetes, and certain rare genetic conditions. Symptoms of pancreatic cancer it presents very subtly with symptoms which are vague and non-specific. It typically presents with dull, persistent abdominal pain, weight loss, anorexia, painless obstructive jaundice, and glucose intolerance are seen. They often have a hypercoagulable state, which may lead to deep vein thrombosis. It is a devastating condition as majority present late in course when it's no longer resectable. Diagnosis of pancreatic cancer Carbohydrate antigen 19, 9 also known as CA19, 9, is a tumor marker that is frequently elevated in pancreatic cancer. The best initial step in diagnosis are medical imaging techniques, such as computed tomography, CT scans. If CT scan is not available, then ultrasound should be the first test of choice. Endoscopic ultrasound is used to confirm if tumor is resectable or not. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and positron emission tomography may also be used, and magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography may be useful in some cases. A biopsy by fine needle aspiration, often guided by endoscopic ultrasound, may be used where there is uncertainty over the diagnosis. Treatment of pancreatic cancer Treatment of pancreatic cancer includes surgery, chemotherapy, and palliative therapy. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment but it is of value only if the primary tumor is less than 3 cm, free of major blood vessels and if there is no metastatic spread. Suitable patients undergo Whipple's procedure, which involves excision of the head of the pancreas, the distal common bile duct, the gall bladder, the duodenum, and distal stomach, followed by anastomosis of the pancreatic duct, the common hepatic duct, and the distal stomach to a loop of jejunum. Modified Whipple's procedure involves preservation of the distal stomach and pylorus, 
which may have long-term nutritional benefits. Distal pancreatectomy may be suitable for carcinoma of the body or tail. Gemcitabine is the standard chemotherapeutic agent used for pancreatic cancer. Other drugs are capsidabine, 5-fluorouracil, cisplatin and oxaliplatin. Palliative Treatment Jaundice is palliated by stenting the biliary stricture. Both plastic and self-expandable metal stents have been used for palliation of jaundice. When endoscopic biliary drainage is unsuccessful or contraindicated, percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage is done. Pain requires graded use of analgesic agents. Celiac plexus block and splanchnectomy are useful interventions for palliation of pain. Thank you for watching this video. I hope information provided in this video is helpful. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.